Well, hello, Blue Troopers, and welcome back to my little evening episode of Max's Models After Hours. I did manage to get uh, a little bit of rigging done on some of the Douglas Roll Cruisers. I'm kind of setting them aside and just doing a little piece of rigging every other day or every day when I have time and feel like it. With four of these airplanes and all the rigging that has to be done, if you if you just sit down and start doing it, it it's, gets a little not fun. And this is still a hobby. So, hey, no rush, right? A lot of you guys left some comments about the volume of recent videos in the live stream, and you may have already noticed a difference on this one. And yes, you are right. I had turned down the gain on my Yeti microphone because I was getting a lot of popping and crackling noises. Now, right now I'm using my Avid Pinnacle, which is my standard editing software, just to do a voice track. And as you can tell, it's probably coming through pretty clear. I have the, the gain turned back up. But this also has a video capture feature the problem is that when the computer, I believe it's a processing issue, it has to process both the video and the audio, and when I get playback, I get a lot of crackle. Now, usually it's not uh, on the final product once it compiles. In fact, let's just do a little experiment now. I'm going to stop what I'm doing, and I'm going to use that software uh, with the video capture feature. Okay, now I'm using the video capture feature, and this is much easier for me to use because it all goes through at one time. But I'm using this Yeti microphone, and it uh, allows me to just sit here at my desk, crank it up, and, and start saying what I have to say, and it all gets dumped right into uh, the work project that I'm in. And that's really nice. Now, another option I have is to use the area microphone that is actually in the camera which should be lower quality but let's give i'm going to stop here and then switch over to that microphone and see how that works okay now this is the area microphone that's actually mounted right up there uh, on the camera itself and uh, of course you also have the lavalier mic when i use the phone or something but you don't use that with the computer so there's another thing that i use and that's uh, using the camera platform so let, let's go to using that now this is using the little built-in camera and the built-in microphone. Uh, as you can tell, it's darker than the camera that comes with the video. I can turn this light on, get a little more light on my face, get a little better, but it's grainier. That's one of the reasons I went ahead and bought the, the nice little Logitech camera. So uh, that's that. And you can hear the sound on the, by the way, it's not using the Yeti, it's, the, it's unplugged. This is just the area microphone on the computer. Uh, now I can, Try and plug in the Yeti and see if that works. Let's see. Okay, now uh, I should be using the Yeti mic with a little built-in camera. I and mean, for some reason, it seems to be reversing things. Uh, go figure. So now I'm going to go back to uh, narration only. Oh, yeah, one other thing. Sometimes when I use the the, the built-in camera function, and I can I can use the camera and switch it over to the Logitech, but uh, when I play it back on my editing software, it's out of sync. I have to I have to detach the audio, trim a couple of pieces. Of it. It's just something about the way this software processes the information. Okay, and now we're back to just using the uh, regular voiceover mode, which is probably the easiest one to do. But hopefully the volume's back up where it should be. I've got the game cranked back up, and I, I think that pop and cracking and hissing is probably more of just when I'm trying to do a playback before it's compiled. But thanks, guys, for giving me feedback on the uh, audio, and let me know if this is any better. So, uh, also built that little uh, Orient to Express, uh, which we, I talked about this morning. I haven't decided how I'm going to paint it yet. And I started working on, on a Captain Kirk figure, the AMT Ertl one. I got all the excess chopped off, but man, it is not going well. Uh, there's, a, there's a really rough fit. Uh, I still have to sand things down some more, but uh, there's really rough fit. I might have to build some sort of inside structure because the chest and arms are super hard and the trouser section is a little bit of play in the vinyl and uh, the, the the Mr. Spock one didn't give me quite this much trouble which I did gosh 15 years ago although I made made the mistake of using enamel paint on vinyl and it's still a little tacky 15 years later so I'll be using acrylic on this anyway uh, that's where we're at right now guys I'm heading back into the books uh, sorry about no live stream for the next two weeks but we got to do what we got to do Take care of yourselves, guys, and as always, model on.